Hello everyone, this is Rohit Shankar Mane and today we are going to see how to write a research paper. For writing a research paper, we have to understand some objectives. First, we have to understand title and appreciation, abstract and keywords, introduction, literature review, methodology and experimentation, research and discussions, conclusions, references and acknowledgement. First, we have to understand these all objectives. Then and then we can write a successful and a very good research paper. Now let's see one by one. First title. A title should be brief and appropriate for the content, informative and clear. If the work is of interest in a limited area of research, indicate it in the title. It should be in a single phase with a proper capitalization and correct grammar and free from abbreviations. Now see one example. Physiology of endophytic asperges nomius isolated from aloe vera, western Ghats of Karnataka, India. This title is very brief, appropriate for the content and informative clear. See, this research has done in the western Ghats of Karnataka, India. That's what a limited area of research is mentioned. The title is in a single phase and proper capitalization is done. Correct grammar is there and the title is free from abbreviations. Now after title, we have to write research, uh, researchers name and their applications and the corresponding author should be indicated by star. Next is abstract. Now abstract is concisely states that objectives and scope of research. It should be summarizes the results and principle conclusion gained in your research work. A well written abstract together with the title enables potential readers to determine whether your paper is interesting and worth reading in full. Abstracts must be concise, generally presented as one or two paragraph. The length should not exceed 150 words for regular papers, 100 words for short papers. What should we avoid while writing abstract? We have to avoid reference citation, table and figure names and abbreviations. After abstract, we have to write keywords. That keyword should be unique, related to content, easily accessible on online search. Now next is introduction. Now introduction is nothing but they follow a general to specific written pattern. Start by providing background information that orientates the reader to researchers' general socio-political, historical, scientific and educational context. Perhaps include a theoretical, personal or policy-based motivation for the research as a starting point. Attempt to pursue, inform or indicate to the reader of the need for the research. This is an attempt to convince the reader that the research will be useful, interesting or significant for the academic community and may be suggestive for the research gap which arises from the following literature review. Now, In this introduction, we have to introduce our topic in brief. While introducing topic, we have to give background information about topic, theoretical and personal experiences related to our topic and we have to explain why this topic is needed nowadays. And we have to explain gap of the research also. Next is review of literature. Review of literature is nothing but that we have to study previously researched papers or thesis. The demonstrate your readers that you have read enough to show that you are aware about the topic and significant researchers have done. Specify which issues or concepts you will concentrate in your research. Show that. How you, how you can exercise critical judgment in selecting which issues to focus on and which to ignore. Show that you can take a critical approach to your area of research. Argue for the validity of your research area in terms of its need to address a gap. Establish the theoretical orientation you are planning to take a topic. Now next, methodology and experimentation. This is a very important one. On the basis of introduction and the of literature, we have to de design methodologies and experimentation. Now, this is nothing but the practical work, what we have to do in the lab. Now, here we have to explain our methods in detail. Now, met methods section provides sufficient details of theoretical and experimental methods and materials used in your research work so that your reader will be able to repeat your research work and reproduce the results. Methodology and experimentation should be precisely written, complete and concise, include only relevant information. For example,
provide a reference for a particular technique instead of describing all the details. Now next is the results. Now results section present the facts finding of the study by effectively using figures and tables. This section must be the results clearly logically to highlight potential applications. Combine the use of text, table, figures to digest and condense the data. And highlight important trends and extract relationships among different data items. Figures must be well designed, clear and easy to read. Figure caption should be succinct. It provides sufficient information to understand the figures without references to the text. Now next part is the discussion. Now here we have to discuss our work with the past research work. In the discussion section, present your interpretation and conclusions gained from your findings. You can discuss how your findings compare with other experimental observations or theoretical experimentations. Refer to your characteristic results described in the results section to support your discussion, since your interpretation and conclusion must be based on evidences. By, by properly structuring this discussion, you can show how your results can solve the current problems and how they relate to research objectives that you have to describe in your introduction section. This is your chance to clearly demonstrate that the novelty and importance of your research work. Now next part is the conclusion and acknowledgement. The conclusion section summarizes the important results and impact of your research work. Future work plans may be included if they are beneficial to readers. The acknowledgement is nothing but that we have to say thanks for the funding agencies or for the departments who helped you in your research work. Now bibliography. Bibliography is also called as a references or literature cited. Now here we have to cite references in our research paper at the end. Now for example, first we have to name author names. Now here author names are Rohi Shankar Mane, Ankala Basapa Vedamurthy. Then published a year 2020. Then title of the paper, Physiology of Endophytic Aspergillus Nomius Isolated from Aloe Vera, Western Guards of Karnataka, India. Then journal name, Asian Journal of Applied Sciences, Volume and Issue 13 in 1, page number 32 to 39. This would be the author and paper citation in our journal. While in the whole research paper, we can cite uh, the research papers we are, what we have used in different formats. If different formats are given here. If you have any question, comment me or message me. Thanks a lot.